What's going on everyone and welcome to this video. My name's Hayden Davidson. You are watching FBA TV. Almost forgot my intro there. <clears throat> so in this video I'm going to talk about a massive Amazon company that is going bust. Now I love doing this. This is like the first proper news flash that I've done. You know, I'm going to do breaking news on here as well, but I'm going to do news flashes as well, right? So anyway, I've just got the CNBC article up here. So let me read it out to you, okay? Top Amazon seller Packable begins liquidating and announces job cuts after failed SPAC attempts. Packable, the parent company of top ranking Amazon seller Pharma Packs, is laying off employees and seizing operations, according to the documents viewed by CNBC. The health and beauty product retailer was, was at one point the largest seller on Amazon's third party marketplace, the largest seller in the world, not just the UK in the world. Packable was liquidating after a failed effort to go public for a special a special purpose acquisition company. Okay. About a year ago, online retailer Packable was preparing to go public for a special purpose acquisition company, with SPAC market having evaporated and the economy now sputtering. It's a funny word, isn't it? Packable is laying off staff and preparing to liquidate according to the internal documents reviewed by CNBC. Okay. What does this all mean? Okay. I've had a good look at the article, I've had a good look at the evidence, if you like, and to me, it looks like it's an over-leveraged company, okay? Obviously, they've gone through the hard times of the COVID-19 and things like that. Obviously, as a small seller that I am, small sellers that a lot of my friends are compared to that, obviously, that's, I mean, that's multiple, like, probably 10 figures, if that's even a thing. Um... It's clear to me that look, they've they've had issues. Okay, they've had if you, they've probably had issues with supply chains. They've had if they they've got about five hundred employees. They've just laid off one hundred and twenty eight. Let me get the exact figures right. They've just laid off a hundred and where are we? They've just laid off one hundred and twenty eight. They've got right. They've just laid off one hundred and thirty eight employees. 20% of its staff, so there's a remaining 372 employees. That means that there was 400, and all, over 500, I'm not going to work out these, there was over 500 staff there, okay? Not to mention the warehouses, not to mention the packaging, not to mention the tax and things like that. And then if you get a massive low sales spike and things like that, or even a high sales spike, they got in COVID-19, which then obviously brought down which obviously brought down the... St hey everyone, got some exciting news. So I've just got a sponsor for this YouTube channel and the sponsor is Awesome, the accounting and bookkeeping service. They're going to help sponsor this YouTube channel so that I can push it further and further. Now, Awesome I've personally been using for around about a year and a half now. And what I love about Awesome is that their, their pricing is great. I think it's very fair pricing and I, I, I don't think that you can get a better accountant for the price. And also, on top of that, they use something that's quite unique. So they use their own software, which integrates things like Link My Books, Zero, and things like that. And not only that, you've got all of your account summaries on the dashboard. You've got a chat that you can chat to them at any time. They're on, they're on my books, my accounting and bookkeeping all the time so that me and my team can focus on doing what makes us money, which is obviously selling on Amazon. So if you do want to check them out, I've managed to actually get a two months free accounting for anyone that uses the link below. Um, and I would highly recommend that you save that if you're not going to use it now, save it so that you can use it on a later date for your accounting, because obviously that's a bit of a no brainer. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Let's get back to the video stock that they had probably sold out the majority of their stock then they struggled with supply chain to get the new stock in okay they've got their over leverage they've got 500 plus staff members they've got premises and things like that and now they're overstocked that they're, they're back in stock right now and now they've tried to do an acquisition things like that they've probably had a look at their books and realized that they're not in the right stage they're going into liquidation because that I, I believe they're over leveraged, right? So what does this say to me? This says that you can get too big as an Amazon seller. You can get too big as an Amazon seller. Um, you can get too big in any business. This 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 has taught me a lot of people, you know, having a laugh about this, saying that, you know, there's the, the less competition, one less competition, great. But I'm actually taking it quite seriously. When I looked to this, I thought, wow, that is a big deal. You know, there's, that is a big, big, big deal. Um, the fact that they've actually got to go into liquidation rather than just downsize their operations means to me that there's just no way of saving it. They're obviously over leveraged to the hills. Um, it says right here, as of 2020, Amazon was by far Packable's largest channel, accounting for 80% of sales, according to an investor presentation. 80% of sales. Wow. Um, they were the biggest seller in Amazon. So this says to me quite obviously, and I've learned a big lesson from this, I think so should you, so should everyone watching this, that look, you can get too big 
if you haven't if you don't take the time to put the right operations in now i'm not saying they haven't done that right maybe they just got unlucky obviously they had covid19 and things like that but it's an over leveraged operation obviously something has gone really wrong so i think it's a lesson a key lesson for me and anyone watching to take away watch out when you're getting too big when the growth looks like it's never ending there's going to come a stage where your outgoings are hundreds of thousands of pounds millions and millions of pounds so if you get a slow sales speak or whatever happened in this particular case which i'm going to look into even further you can get to a stage where you're over leveraged they failed the acquisition and now they're going into liquidation which really, really does surprise me because I don't know why they can't downsize their operations. They must be in too much debt. They must have too many. They just got to fold the company. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video of Amazon seller news. I'm going to do breaking news on here as well. And I will see you all very, very soon.